What is up YouTube? It's your boy Macabre back today with another Destiny 2 video. This one is some news. A lot of you guys have probably already heard this news. As a matter of fact, if this is new to you, let me know because man, are you under a rock? Like, <laughs> like I got some resources here and I know this is a little bit late. Uh, had a little bit of a busy week and didn't get around to putting this video together for Saturday. Plus I already had something planned. Sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed the content, but it is here now. So, before we jump into the meat and potatoes of today's content, talking about the TWAB from just this past Thursday, I would like you guys to know that I have a little bit of a challenge for you, okay? We're slowly but surely growing, okay? And that's great. I appreciate each and every one of you that have subbed, that have told friends, you know, that have helped me out in one way or another. I mean, just watching the video helps me out. So, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you have some friends that you would like to show this to, show it to them, man. Like, I would like to grow this community as much as possible. And there's a little bit of an incentive. If you'd like to see me live stream some Destiny 2 content, maybe a few other games, heck, we'll see where it goes. But we'll start with some Destiny 2 content here on YouTube. I'm thinking Thursday evenings, but it's up for debate. I have a subscription goal okay you guys get me to 30 subs in the next two weeks i'll give you two weeks at the drop of this okay so you have the last week of season 12 and the first week of season 13 and if by the end of those two weeks we hit 30 subs then i will start a live stream program you know here on youtube every single thursday evening okay so we'll go from there we'll see what happens it's up to you now Alright, it's on you guys. Off me, on to you. I'll give you an update on the next video where we're sitting at and so on and so forth, alright? Now, you might be asking yourself, as you are listening to me talk about this goal, you might be asking yourself, what is he using in the background? You know, I, as you can see, I got a truth teller out, um, and I got the Europa rocket launcher. And you're, you're sitting there probably wondering, because... I just ran a Lost Sector, not not a Legendary or Master, nothing like that. But I just ran a Lost Sector, and I'm using some rather unique weapons, to say the least. You know, they're not seeing a ton of play right now in the meta, and that's because of the TWAP. All right, so there were some changes to the weapons, and specifically the ones I'm using. Okay, these weapons are about to get a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but. I'll explain why here, all right? So a few of the buffs. We'll start with the biggest, right? Rocket launchers are getting a 30% buff, okay? Two damage. That That is insane. 30% 30, 30 is a lot, okay? And that's why I'm using this, <laughs> this rocket launcher in the background, because it is so, so very good. And I truly enjoy using it, okay? But right now, it's not like I have a great opportunity to, but this buff 30% is enough that I think maybe it'll push it into that area where it'll be used a little bit more. You know, I won't always be using a sword or a grenade launcher. Keep in mind, exotic rocket launchers will be adjusted individually. Um, also, feel free. I'm going to throw an image up on the screen of the buffs. You can pause and read it yourself. You can go look up just Bungie Twab and find this one, or you can just kind of listen to what I'm saying and go from there. Um, so, exotic rocket launchers are going to be adjusted individually, and um, really, there's some sick, sick mods that kind of go well with rocket launchers, so we'll see where they go. The other thing is, uh, they're talking about fusion rifles and how they're very, very low, specifically in the Crucible. Um, so, essentially, the range stat is going to be changed here a little bit. Um, so, they're going to have more range, essentially, as well as the uh, camera movement's going to be decreased. So, watch out for fusion rifles in the Crucible next season. Um, really, it's just because they see a lot of shotgun use uh, users right now, and they don't like that. They, you know, they want to mix it up a little bit, which I don't mind. But at the same time, I think it's honestly frustrating when you get killed by a fusion rifle more so than a shotgun. So I, I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comments down below whether you like this change or not. Myself personally, not too excited for it. The other big change, and the reason why I'm using this uh, grenade launcher in the background is breach grenade launcher is super super low the usage is insanely low excluding mountaintop and it's their assumption is that it's because it's the hold hold the trigger to arm and then release to detonate so you know you hold your trigger down and then once you let go it'll blow up um so essentially now they're just going to detonate on impact always <laughs> which is 
very, very nice, and one of literally the only reasons I would use Mountaintop, right? I, it just blew up instantly. I mean, it was incredible. And oftentimes I find myself wanting to use something like this Truth Teller. The one I have in the background in particular is absolutely stacked for some boss DPS, but the problem is sometimes it doesn't blow up when I hit <laughs> the guy. It bounces around, or if it bounces off of the surface and goes flying way in the other direction and ends up killing me in some way. So this buff is huge. Now let's talk a little bit about nerfs. Just real quick, I'm not going to go into too much depth. The main one I'm going to focus on is swords, okay? Their damage is being reduced by 15%. Keep that in mind. There is a reason they're doing this. They, they'd want to make it so that not everyone is using swords, and I don't blame them. So a buff to rocket launchers, a nerf to swords, maybe we'll meet somewhere in the middle. Also, keep in mind, sniper rifles, uh, yeah, increased ADS flinch while taking damage from other players. As if it wasn't hard enough to snipe in D2 right now. <laughs> Let me know what you have to feel about that. I'm going to have a video on this actually later this week, unless something huge drops. So, because I snipe a lot, guys. It's one of my favorite things about this game is I feel like if you're a good sniper in this game, it takes a lot of skill. And now it's going to take even more skill. And it's very, very annoying. All right, now let's go into the other thing real quick I want to touch on because I've heard a lot of people complain about this, and honestly, I don't quite understand why, but it's Bright Dust. Bright Dust is being changed, okay? We're getting essentially um, weekly challenges. We're getting a battle pass of sorts, right, with challenges, and each challenge is going to give you some sort of Bright Dust in return. So I'm going to throw the image up on screen here. Feel free to pause and look at this, but... It changed. I'm kind of hyped, and I hope you guys are as well. With that, I don't have anything else to say, so get back to grinding, you crazy guardians.